This is a buffalo. This is solid. You see, Ibra, love Russia. <laughs> yeah. Hi, and welcome to Luke Jones the Other Way from the highest point of Hanty Mansisk. <music> Behind me, you can see two rivers. It's the confluence of the Irtish and the Ob. These are two of the longest, largest rivers in Russia, if not the world. And the Ob starts way down in Novosibirsk, capital of Siberia, and the Irtish through Omsk, not far away. And they meet right here in Hantimansisk. This is the monument to the first people who ever came out to the Hanty region in the 16th century. There was very, very little here for hundreds of years. It wasn't until the 1930s when oil was discovered that this place really took off. But anyway, hats off to those guys. There's always a bit of climbing involved where we are and you'll get to see what a Stella is. And it's not a pint of wife beater, it's a pyramid. Join me. Slava, where are we? Oh, we're at a local place called uh, Stella. Stella? Yeah. Is that like a beer? No, it's like a pyramid. Oh, that's a shame. We'll have one of those later. A beer, that is, not a pyramid. Okay, but why is there a pyramid in the middle of Hantimansisk? Yeah, it's uh, like a monument for the first settlers. Ah, okay. So these were the people who came here a long time ago, and then they found oil. Yeah. So can we go upstairs and look? At... No, we can't. It's closed. Ah, that's a bummer. Right, let's go and see the mammoths. They obviously knew I was coming because uh, you're not even allowed to climb them. I mean, what's the point? We followed the instructions on the sign to the letter or even the picture. It said no climbing on the mammoths. Well, this is a buffalo, so we're obviously safe. bright sunshine in the Hantimansis region but let's not forget where we are it's the middle of summer but there's still ice here so let's go and check it out look at that this is solid If there's one sport that encapsulates this part of the world, it's biathlon. Now, this amazing place was built less than 20 years ago and it's slap bang in the middle of Hantimansisk. You'd never know it because you'd think you're in the middle of a forest. One of the interesting things about a place like Hantimansisk is that there are very few actual locals. Nearly everybody is imported. And Jumagul is a fantastic example of this. Where are you originally from? I'm from Uzbekistan. My parents moved here for work in 1996. 1996? I've been living here for a long time. <laughs> and you're still here? Yeah, I yeah. am. And do you like it? I do love it. Fantastic. Well, I hope you're going to show us around some of the sites. Sure, let's go. Okay, let's go. Everybody knows places like Hantimansis because of all the oil, but there must be life outside of the oil fields. Oh yeah, sure, Luke. Uh, Hantimansis is not only about oil and gas, it's about beautiful nature. You can see it here. It's about Hantimansis has a beautiful, patient, strong and friendly people from different countries like me from different places from different towns from different cities so it's very good place to go by so you can come and visit as a tourist not just as an oilman yeah come to see come to visit Huntsman Seas because we have motto to see you grow love Russia <laughs> yeah
Okay, one of the other examples we've got here of someone who's come here to work, we've got Temuri. We're going to move into Russian now. Что, расскажи, что откуда и каким образом сюда попал? Я родился в Волгограде в 74 году. Ну, детство мое в силу некоторых причин прошло и в Грузии тоже. Здесь я по работе оказался. Восемь лет назад сюда приехал по приглашению телерадио компании Югра работать в новостях сначала. Да прекрасное место, тихое, спокойное, очень такой семейный городок, очень такой добрый, к приезжим добрый. А где лучше погода, в Волгограде или здесь зимой? А зимой? Ну, зимой в Волгограде температура редко падает до минус 15 градусов в основном нет до минус 10 только ветер страшенный вообще здесь, здесь зимой конечно хорошо потому что здесь именно в ханты мансийске в хантах назовем их так да здесь кругом лес и поэтому в общем-то не ветрено и даже такой серьезный мороз он воспринимается ну ура здоровье ради а так в принципе люди едут на север для чего люк ну наверняка вот именно и за этим тоже люди едут на север ради севера они когда-то может быть читали в школе в книжках там в сказках видели в фильмах вот это вот северная романтика вот именно за этим мы здесь все и Расскажите, что за сувениры здесь? На мою... Это игорская коллекция, недавно открытая, работы мастеров Ханты-Мансийска и округа, скажем так, района. Они а... живые? Почти да. Это мех оленины. Oh. Мех оленя. It's quite sweet, actually. Да. Oh. Вот здесь и меховые, и кость представлена, и клык, и мамонта настоящий есть. Ну, всего понемножку. Stuff in Hanty Mansisk was built quite recently, but obviously no video would be complete without some real brutalistic architecture. This is obviously from the Soviet times. This is the Rechnoy Vaxal, the river station, if you fancy a ride up the river. You get all weathers in Hanty Mansisk. It freezes in the winter. It was boiling hot yesterday and most of today. The rain's just started. It's got to rain here sometime, keep it so green. I think it's time to go to the pub, don't you? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I think we found a pub. So what a fantastic place to end the weekend. Garage, it even makes its own beer. So this has been Luke Jones the other way. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. And we have to say Rahmat to Jumagul. Thank you very much for showing us around. Hope to see you again in Hanna. Welcome. Definitely. Cheers. Cheers.